In today's video, we are gonna try to beat Minecraft, but there are custom breads. These custom breads have custom chaotic and OP powers and abilities that can not only help me destroy the Ender Dragon, which can also help me become even more stronger and powerful. So watch the whole video to find out the powers and abilities of all the custom breads and also, of course, if I could beat the Ender Dragon or not. And while you guys are here, make sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. It's time to eat some bread, I guess. Anyways, enough talk, sit back, relax. Let's get right back into the video. Hope you guys enjoy the video. We are in and you know what? It's time for us to move a little quick. So as you guys know what we are going to be doing today, what we are going to be crafting. And as we are in Savannah biome, without wasting any second of our time, it's time for us to find ourselves a village. Eventually. Oh, wait, is that? Yep, there it is. There's the village. That was easy. That was just right beside our spawn. Oh, yeah. There are the hay bales right there. Oh, there's a lot of hay bales in this village. So as we're in the village, without any further ado, let's get all the hay bales from the village. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 36 hay bales. Let me first get one wood to make a crafting table. And now, guys, we have everything to craft our first custom bread. All we needed for that is one bread and four seeds we have everything so inside the crafting table we have to first make tons of bread oh my goodness that is a lot of bread right there we have enough of bread for the entire video and to make all the custom bread as well so first of all one bread in the middle and four of these seeds just like that surrounding the bread bread we get no knowledge book no that's not what it is if i click it we get wheat bread oh my gosh our first custom bread is wheat bread i mean it does make a lot of sense right the wheat look at that bread bro bro not gonna lie that looks a bit disgusting yeah that that green it looks like fungus whatever we are pretty hungry so if i eat it what's gonna happen bro just tell me what's gonna Oh my, okay. Yep, that means we have infinite bread. Yeah, basically. All right, well, I'll gladly take all these hay bales as well. Now for the next set of custom breads, we have to get some wood. We got the crafting table and some sticks, a poop pickaxe, and some cobblestones to craft, super slow stone tools, and the two furnaces. Now there's some coal right here. We have to get these coal. So there's one custom bread that requires coal. And all we need for that is four coal and one bread. We already have two and there's, there's a lot more over here. So I may or may not have read what these custom breads do. So I just don't want to spoil it. So our next custom bread, we need to place one bread in the middle and four of these coal. Just like that, we get knowledge book. No, that's not what we are going to get. So if I click it, we get coal bread. That's what we are going to be getting. Look at that freaking bread, bro. That makes a lot of sense. That is so accurate. It matches the crafting recipe as well, bro. What? You need something, bro? You need the bread? No, you don't want it. Trust me. Okay, we are pretty hungry. I mean, we are not really hungry. And also, I just got two eggs. What? Can you guys stop giving me eggs? Oh, there. okay. There we go. I was pretty lucky right there. I just spawned in a baby chicken. Okay, so what happens if I eat the bread? You guys might be wondering. I know what it does already. Before I eat the bread, we have to find some iron. I'll show you guys what, what this bread does. Oh, I totally forgot about the big guy. Where is he? Oh, there you. You are. Uh, bro, can you please come here for a second? I gotta kill you. Boom! You're dead and five iron ingots. Are you kidding me? I love you so much, Iron Golem. You just saved me, I guess. Now we have to find a cave, of course, to find some iron. What the? Did I just find another village? Wait, what? I just... Wait. How? Ho yep, there's another village right there. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, I... I, do I need anything from that village except for the irons? I don't think so. Right after I enter the village, there's the iron golem. Thank you so much. Give me the iron. You're dead. Okay, how many was that? Oh my gosh, what is happening with my luck? And there's a big cave right here. Holy crap. There's also mine shaft. Okay, so before I get down there, let me first craft a bucket to get water to MLG. Okay, here we are. Okay, let me just get one iron. Okay, that's all I need because we can already go ahead and craft our third custom bread, which is made of iron. This is the recipe for it. All we need four iron and one bread. That's all. Oh gosh, of course, to try out the cold bread, I have to be hungry. Come on. You you guys want to attack me just attack me i just i just want to be low on hunger that's it okay there we go we can eat it now so if i so as you guys can see i have one raw iron right so when i eat the bread okay there we go coal effect as you guys can see above top of my screen it says coal effect so if i shift 
if did you guys see my iron uh raw iron it turned into iron ingot so, so yeah that's what it does it smelts all the ores and stuff that i have in my inventory and also it gives me night vision as you guys can see on the left side of my screen and my coal effect just went off it's fine it's fine it's time for us to craft our next custom bread and we have everything to craft it so now all we need to do is inside the crafting table if i place four iron ingots just like that and one bread in the middle we get the custom bread which is made of iron iron bread if i eat the iron bread oh my gosh we are eating the iron whoa whoa, whoa. what the what is happening? As you guys can see on top of my screen, it, it says iron effect. So what that does is it spawns an iron golem whenever I take damage. And look at this. Look at how many iron we have. That is why I didn't want any iron except for four. And we got everything. We had everything. Now, hold on. As we have nine iron blocks and also there's redstone right here. Let me first turn all the iron blocks into iron ingots. Oh my gosh. Now, let me just make full iron armor and full iron tools. Now, let me just get the redstones over here. We need redstones for one of the custom bread. Yep, 17 seems enough. Oh, there's also a chest here. What's the... Di diamonds are you kidding me golden apple i'll take that some glowing berries and lap we got lapis okay we can right now go ahead and make our next custom bread can you please stop it actually you know what since we have everything to craft our next custom bread we only need two redstone and two lapis and one bread for the next custom bread and Please, skeleton. Listen, I'm trying to work in and you're trying to kill me. Can you stop it? So inside the crafting table, if I place one bread in the middle, uh, of course, this one bread in the middle is common to all the crafting recipe. Now, two redstones just like that on top and bottom and left and right lapis like that. We get the knowledge book when we click it. We get magnet bread. All right, hold on. Let's test it out. Where are the mobs? Okay, there's zombie right there. If I eat the zombie, what is it going to do? <laughs> Whoa, 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 what, what just happened? What the heck just, uh, okay, so I, kn okay, what happens is that whenever I dip, yeah, it, it blows, I don't know, for some reason, these mobs blow up, oh my gosh, dude, this magnet bread, it's, it's amazing, bro, holy crap, actually, you know what, I'll craft another one of that later on, but before that, yeah, this is gonna be very good for the ender dragon. Now, I'm pretty sure I saw some gold right here. Okay, I need to get four gold as well. Yep, that's perfect. That's perfectly four gold. Now, let me just craft another cold bread, and now let me eat it to smell the gold. There we go. We got the four gold, and now the next thing we are gonna be crafting is this. We need four gold ingot and one bread. We have everything. So, inside the crafting table, if I place the bread right there, and four gold ingots just like that surrounding the bread we get the next custom bread knowledge no knowledge book that's not it okay so if i left click we get the gold bread oh my gosh bro this is the richest bread i've ever seen holy crap it's so expensive all right let's see what this does well oh i cannot eat it i need to get hungry okay now we can eat this gold so we are in a good safe uh, spot right now and there we go. It just turned the uh, the blocks below me into gold. That's... Wait, what? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, this is what it does. Wait, do I... I, I think I have like... What? What? I don't... Okay, so what I did was I, I just held shift and that... That's what happened. That's what happened. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many random stuffs. Can you stop it, baby zombie? So the reason I didn't get all the stuffs is because I'm in the caves. So I think it might be uh, above in the surface. Oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta be careful. I'm, I'm gonna, die. I, I, I'm dead. Oh my gosh, I gotta be careful, bro. So we basically have infinite gold and iron as well. So that, that's crazy. Now let me also get two more diamonds since we got two diamonds from the mineshaft chest. Oh, there's also gravel right here. Let me get a flint. That, oh my first try. Thank you so much. We got the flint and the flint and steel. Perfect. Oh, there it is. There's the diamond. I just need two please no that was one i need one more oh my gosh there's another diamond right over here Pl 
I, all I need is one. There we go. We got it. Oh, yes. Let me just get out of here. That's it. I guess everything is done. Yeah, I got everything from the caves. It's time for me to get up to the surface. All right, here we are. We are up in the surface. Now, it's time for us to craft our next and the most OP custom bread. And for that, all we need to do is first get four diamonds and one bread. We have everything. So, inside the crafting table, if I place four diamonds just like that and one bread in the middle, there we go. Knowledge book, click it. We can, we get the diamond bread. Oh my goodness, that is so that looks amazing, bro. Look at that bread. Let's see what it does when we eat it. We have the diamond effect. So if I shift, it's not it's raining diamonds. It's raining diamonds. Are you serious? Okay, we basically have infinite diamonds as well. Bro, look at all these diamonds surrounding me, bro. That rain, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty loud. I'm sorry about that. And also, look at 50... A stack of diamonds in like a second or something. Holy crap. Boom, there we go. Full diamond armor and full diamond tools as well. And now, since we didn't get to see the power of the golden bread, let's craft it again. There we go. We got the gold bread and we are pretty hungry. If I eat it, oh my gosh, we have the golden effect and we have infinite gold. And give me all... Oh my gosh, look at how many god apples I'm getting. And look at how many... Totem of Undying, that is so OP! Oh my gosh, my gold effect has turned off. And look at all those Totem of Undying just laying on the ground right there. And also 46. Okay, you know what? Yep, uh, thank you so much. That's my food source for now. It's time to move on to our next custom bread. And for that, we need four water buckets. So that means we have to craft four buckets. There we go. We have four buckets and we have water in it as well. We have four water buckets. So now if I place four of these water buckets just like that and one bread in the middle, we get the knowledge book when we click it oh we also get the bucket back that's cool look at the look at this ice it's called ice bread and look at that look at how cool that looks bro oh good okay yep i'm gonna test it out before that i i gotta be hungry let me just run around for a bit do i have gunpowder no i unfortunately don't have gunpowders we need gunpowders and four sands as well four gunpowders four sands and one bread for the custom bread that uh, yeah that is the recipe bro there is legit no mobs in here bro no villagers no golem are you kidding me this is a, an empty village what whatever it's getting nighttime so the mobs are gonna spawn right now oh yes there's skeleton and some cows right here let me eat the bread bro i'm not even able to run and if i shift it just fro it, it it froze is this gonna work on the ender dragon if that's the case that is good it doesn't even move it doesn't even move Oh my goodness, this is so epic. Now, hold on. I gotta kill some creepers. Come here, creepers. Please die and give me your gunpowders. All right, guys. Okay, okay. Can you please, guys, stop it? Holy crap, these mobs. Okay, we got nine gunpowders. That's more than enough to craft two of these custom bread. But before that, let me just go ahead and sleep. Now, all we need to do is inside the crafting table, if I place four gunpowders just like that and four of these sands like that and one bread. Where's, where's my bread? Yeah, so one bread over there. We get the TNT bread. Oh my gosh, that looks so sick and accurate. So let's go ahead and eat it. Oh my gosh, we have the TNT effect. There are the mobs, so this means I'm gonna explode. I, I explode. Yep, that's what it means. This is super freaking good. Okay. That, no, you want to blow up? You you want to play with me, buddy? No, you don't. Trust me. I am a creeper myself. I am a TNT myself. I am the most powerful version of TNT and creeper. And now, in order to craft the next custom bread, we have to find a lava pool. A few moments later. Oh, wait. Is that it? Is that... Yeah, that's it. There's the lava pool right there, right beside the village. All right. So now, before I craft my next custom bread let's just make our own portal boom there we go the portal is done now before we light it up we have to get four lava buckets well um there we go we got the four lava buckets now the crafting recipe we need four lava buckets and obviously one bread all right so now inside the crafting table if i place four lava buckets just like that and one bread in the middle we get the knowledge book when we click it we get the lava bread oh gosh to use this bread we have to be hungry you know what let's just light up the portal let's get inside oh before that i need this 
water bucket. Thank you so much. Now, let's get inside the nether. And here we are. We are inside the nether. We are in Basalt Delta. Now, um, we have to find a nether fortress or if we find some piglins, we can just trade and get all the ender pearls we need. So, um, let's see what we find first. Two hours later. Oh, I found some piglins that might trade with me. Come on, just take the gold. Just take the gold and trade with me. Give me all the ender pearls you can. Oh, there we go. He just threw me some ender pearls. Thank you so much. Give me those. And also, they're giving me so many obsidians. That is so useful because we can make our own portal. Can you please stop it? Two ender pearls, please. Give me more. That's not enough. Ooh, okay, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Yup, a stack and five ender pearls. That's more than enough. Let me just get out of here. And also, we have 15 obsidians. That means we can go to the overworld whenever we want. Can you stop it? There's a lot of gold. You don't want the gold. You want to die. There we go. You're dead. Before I go to the nether fortress, let me just dig straight down. And now, we need to find some ancient debris. Oh my gosh, we're down to bedrock. I need four ancient debris and one bread for the next cut. Custom bread. Oh, wait. We, we found it. We found one vein. Please tell me that's more than one vein. We need four. That's it. Okay, that that was... Is that three or is that more than... No. No, please tell me that's actually like four vein. Okay, that was two. And this is the third one right here. Okay, that was just three vein. I just... Oh, come on. Why didn't you have one more vein? Are you kidding me? Please, I just need one more ancient debris. Oh, whoa. Okay, there's one more right here. Is that... This is all I need, bro. That's it. I'm done. Four ancient debris and there's one more. I don't even care about that. Okay, we got everything. Let's just get out of here. Let's get back to the surface. All right, we are back to the surface. And now it's time to freaking end this, bro. Let's just go to the nether fortress. Oh, yes. We Yeah, we, 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 we found the fortress. And here we are. We are inside the fortress. Now, all we need to do is find the blaze spawner. And also, there's a chest right here, which is... Uh, yeah, it's not really that good. Okay, now please give me the blaze spawner. That's all I'm asking for. Oh, bingo! We found the blaze spawner and there's also uh, there's already a blaze over here. Please die. Now it's time to kill some blazes for a blaze rod. A few moments later. Yup, there we go. 12 blaze rods. We got a ton. Let's just break the blaze spawner and get the heck out of here. Let's make our own portal. Boom, there we go. The portal is done. Let's light it up. Let's get inside the old world. Back to the old world we go. All right, here we are. We are in old growth birds forest biome. Holy crap, that's a big name. Now, since we have five ancient debris, all we need to do is inside the crafting table, if I place four of these ancient debris like that and one bread in the middle, we get the knowledge book. When we click it, we get the netherite bread. Oh my gosh. This is the first most expensive bread of all time. The next one is the gold, of course. So let's go ahead and eat it. Oh my gosh. We have the... Look at my hearts. Look at my hearts. And also left side of my... Okay. Guys, we have actually... Um, yep, uh, we have actually done it. Yep, that's, uh, that's, yep, that's a lot of stuff right there. Yep, this is just too much, bro. Let's just get out of here. Uh, oh, uh, actually, there's one more custom bread we need to craft, and for that, we need Eyes of Ender. Let's just turn all the blaze rods into all the blaze powders we can, and all the ender pearls and blaze powders into Eyes of Ender. We have 21. Perfect. So, four of these Eyes of Ender, just like that, and one bread in the middle, we get... The ender bread. Oh, good lord. Let's just eat the bread. Okay, there we go. We that's nice. Yep, that's, uh, that's what it does. We have the end portal already. Okay, you know what? Before that, let me first craft as many bread, custom breads. That is going to be useful for the ender dragon fight. So, um, guys, we are ready to go inside the end and beat the ender dragon. We have a lava bread, a lot of magnet, and TNT breads. And also, we have two water buckets. You guys will see what I'm gonna do to the Ender Dragon. So, guys, if you guys think I can beat the Ender Dragon, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. This is gonna be very interesting. It's time for the end battle. Let's get inside the end. Let's go. All right, here we are. We are inside the end, and there is the Ender Dragon bar. And here we are. We are in the mid, and there's the Ender Dragon right there. All right, so, guys, I lost some of my hunger bar. I mean, I am pretty hungry right now. Let me go ahead and eat the lava bread. Let's see what it does. We have the lava effect and... Where, please, where is the... Okay, there's the... What just happened? I tried to kill the ender dragon, not you guys. 
So whenever I shift, it actually sets the mobs on fire nearby me. Oh my god, look at that. That is so cool, bro. I'm not even gonna try to take the end crystals down because that is how OP I am right now. Also, for some reason, all my OP potion effects are gone, bro. Oh, man, that's so sad. You know what? I don't even care about that. Oh, that's a perch right there. Come on. You know what? Let me eat the magnet bread and also the TNT bread. And it has perched completely. There's the dragon's head. I have the effects as well. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Come on. Deal some damage. Come on. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I am killing the Ender Dragon with both the OP. Oh my gosh, that's it. You're dead. And there we go. All the positive and OP effects are gone. But I just killed the Ender Dragon with both TNT bread and the Magnet bread. That was so cool, bro. That was a freaking OP combo right there. The Ender Dragon just got totally comboed. Oh gosh, and there's the Dragon Egg. There it is. We got the Dragon Egg. But guys, if you guys think that the Ender Dragon just got totally ruined. And also, if you guys think that these custom breads are so OP. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Of course, comment down below the best and the worst custom bread and also your favorite one. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. That was actually fun for me, not for the Ender Dragon, of course. Oh, I wish I could eat these custom breads in real life, bro. That would be sick, but why? Bro, why am I so crazy? But anyways, I'm gonna end this video right here. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, have a great day. See ya. Bye.